Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Back in Ontario. What's up guys? How's it going? Mark Free 408. So it's a little warmer here today. It's 32, but it's humid here. We were just in Banff for the weekend. Wild time. So much fun. Go check out Banff if you can. And if you do, buy an inflatable paddleboard and bring it there because you can paddleboard everywhere. And on the air way to the airport, I got freaking rocked with a stone. It came from the other side of the 401, bounced over the median, nailed right there, instant crack to about here. And then, yeah, as you can see, it sat in the parking lot for the week and really cracked. So anyways, I'm at my favorite store here, old Princess Auto. We're gonna pick up, uh, pick up some gear. I'm gonna return a few things and uh, yeah, then we're gonna go check out Brad's new side-by-side. -side. He finally got one, bigger than a 570 too. So let's go see what we can get. So many things that I want but don't need. I already got a strap. <laughs> Who would have thought you can get barbecue sauce here too? Honey mustard barbecue sauce. Ooh, call on my name. What else we need? I think it's time to get a new toy for Nola. Let's get her the fox. What's the fox say? Definitely grabbing a shovel for down the track. Actually, no, getting one of these. The old fork garden. Boom. Anyone need a mask? <laughs> uh, what we got? Pickaxe, sledgehammer, some toys for Nala, extension cords, all the good stuff. Oh, hello, Platinum. All right, let's go check out Brad's new side by side. Ooh, maybe go live on Facebook too. Thanks. Went to buy a side by side, bought a trailer too, eh? Got a trailer. <laughs> 2020. Oh! Can we put a 570 sticker on the side? No. Uh, Those days are gone. Uh, I might just still get you a t-shirt that says 570 Brad. <laughs> Big old four-seater. That thing is clean. Way cleaner than that guy up north that was dinking oh, you around for what, yeah, three weeks? That guy went on for a while. I paid hardly a bit more for this. And that thing was beaten left outside. This, this thing, thing less than a thousand miles on it. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like it was washed every, every use. Every time. The guy's yeah. like, I'm a little bit crazy. He had more machines and more toys than anything. He was like, I'm a little bit crazy with cleaning my machines. And everything was spotless. The oh, trailer was spotless. Perfect. We got too much going on here. I got a live fit going. Yeah, yeah. Got some water. water. Oh, just want to take the sun gases off. Look at that stereo system. Oh, you got everything. Yeah, you got the stereo, the low, MTX. Big low. And you got a nice tinted roof. It's like, this is like a moon roof. I'm cruising through, I'm looking up at the sky. Like nothing. Wait. Neighbor's kids. Hey, what's up? Where'd you come from? You beat someone up? Nice. You said scooting. Scooting. Scootin'. Usually when we go scooting, that means something else. Boot scoot boogie. Here, you got the scoots. I need a winch. You got, hey, listen. I bought this. You got your work cut out for you. <laughs> there's, a, there's a list. There's the two accessories. There's two and four. Uh. Yeah. What lower doors? Lower doors are which is the number one. And lower doors, Kimamoto has them. Yeah. And we need them because as soon as you hit a puddle, the water goes. Oh yeah, straight in. Straight in, right inside your leg, right inside <laughs> your body. And it looks like you need some Nerf bars too. Yeah, they Kimamoto has those too. Do they? Yeah. And a front bumper. That's yeah, that's down the road. That's not a must, but it'd be yeah. nice to have. What do you think, Blake? You like that, this thing? Should we start her up? Fire it up. You gotta take your little spark arrestor out there. I know. Make her a little deeper. Yeah, I remember last one, you was full of mud. Yeah. Well, this one has a third of the kilometers left. Yeah. Oh, Not yeah. too bad. You have, are, are these 14 inch rims? I think they're 12 still. I think so? Big tires though, 27s. Yeah, 12 oh, inch rims. And probably just, oh yeah, 12s. Yeah, 27 tires. Oh, it missed a chunk of mud there. Oh, oh, get out of here. We went to the turtle with Jay. He was way back. Yeah. Because he said every time I took off, just rooster in mud. <laughs> now I used to double the power. He's double loose. Power. He gets loose, eh? 
Loose is fast on the edge or out of control. <laughs> <laughs> Can we wheelie this thing? Nope. <laughs> I don't uh, even know if she'll see any air <laughs> Oh, yeah, right. Maybe a tiny bit. Yeah, look at this. Fold down windshield. Clips to here. Oh, yeah. It's awesome. Nice. That's what I need. Yeah, so she gets muddy. You pull her down. She's too You hot. got pull some freaking hooks already. Sweet. Well, can't wait to test her out. And down at the track. Oh. It looks like you guys are riding or something. Riding the dirt bikes. Riding the dirt bikes. We still got some water. We got the vehicles. So Brad picked up that freshie side by side, which is super exciting because ah, we didn't, yeah, we weren't sure. We figured he wouldn't get one till fall. Now we can't call him 570 Brad anymore, eh? Yeah. I might still get him a we'll, t-shirt. We'll still make fun of him. <laughs> yeah. We should get some 570 stickers made up and slap them all over it. Uh, this thing still going get a little rust now since we grinded up the paint but uh yeah i'm thinking we do a big old heavy burnout with it today we got two videos left for this car and then this just jump. this uh this jetta no i'm not jumping this one i'm exploding the engine it's oh, diesel yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's standard and it's standard so well you can jump standards it's just very tricky <laughs> look at the jump it is just a pile of weeds. So anyways, we're going to do a massive tire or massive burnout with the winter tires with it today. And we're going to finish this video off with a little riding. So Dallas is going to bump start me and I'm gonna bump you. I'm give me a good old bump. You're going to actually have to come around and push me backwards out there first. And then, all right, good luck in the hot box. <laughs> this thing's probably hotter and it stinks because of freaking airbags. Yeah, the airbags went off, by the way. Didn't film it, but it's a good time. Here we go. Of course, as always, she's dead as a doorknob. Thank God we got the snow coat to boost everything. I can't believe you broke it already. Oh, she's hot. I like it. Fire away. Fire away. Like a top. She must have died over the weekend. I already forgot that I had a Saturn down here. You want me to just leave the hood up? Oh yeah, true. Here, I'll give you this. Need more hands, I need seven hands. Well, if it's 32 outside, it's definitely 45 in here. Hold it, eh? It's good for you though. Sweat it out, detox, right guys? So, just tuck that airbag in there. A nice little push backwards here. I don't know what's behind me. Ow. That emblem is hot. I feel like... What's that? Burnt my arm! <laughs> yeah, I feel like jumping in that puddle. Whew. I'm gonna have to hit the truck back there. Since I already smashed the window out of it. Oh. Whip. Come around back. My wheel turned. Get me from behind. I'm just rolling. <laughs> oh, lots of windshield wipers. What do you want? Second? Let's put her in second. Hit her fast! All right, ready? I'm bump started car and like. Oh yeah, we're back. I think. <laughs> I guess I should put it in first. Yeah, there we go. I think I may have had it in second or fourth. Ah, no power steering. This thing's gutless. How oh, did I? Beepers everywhere. Let's get a window open at least. Alright. Yeah, this thing's full of flats. I don't know if she'll do a burnout. 
Might have to get you to do it. I don't know, first gear sucks. <laughs> right to the wood. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, she's gutless. Oh, never mind. I was in uh, third gear. We're good. I was in. I was in third gear. This the knob's backwards on this thing. Yeah, there we go. All right, got some plywood. Holy! Yeah, let's do it on the wood. I might get you to park in front of me though. Just, uh, yeah. All right, I'll grab the wood. Nice flat tire bearing out, it should be good. It's gonna be so hot in there with the windows closed. I'm gonna try and go as long as I can. Whew. Anyone want Saturn? This thing's flawless. Oh, our for race. Thing got loud. I don't think there's any rad fluid in it anymore. Oh, going sideways. That's uh, that's new. Got a nice flat tire there. Oh yeah. You guys might want to get out. You might get smoked out. Maybe shut the windows too. Hold on, Cruz. I got her. Oh really? Well, good thing you got the Noco in there. So, all right. Burnout time. A lot of black smoke coming out the back. Wood slipped out. It got a little hot. <laughs> just shut up. <laughs> oh, did it? Yeah. Well, we might have to do it with the Saturn then. Yeah. This thing's not the ballsiest of uh, vehicles. It's just an old diesel, so. She was making some good black smoke, though. Yeah, it's just rolling coal, eh? It was. Maybe check, make sure there's no uh, fires. That's oh, always that's a good look idea. Look that under here. Oh, good. That's why I built those hood scoops. So yeah, clearly. Clearly. Don't want fire. Fire's bad. <laughs> bad. Alright, well, let's. Uh... Oh, that one shot out. That's why. Yeah, no, so I said the woods. Here, I'll, we'll push her backwards and then we'll, uh, we'll do it get with this one. Sounds that good. work? Yeah. Work for you? Perfect. This well, is air coming out. <laughs> better than nothing. Yeah. The faster you drive, the cooler you get. True, true. <laughs> Alright. Look. What about that? Go back and then they come over there.
probably should have shut my truck doors downwind. I'm thinking that would have been a good idea. Right into the cab of the truck. Bernaldo. Do you think I should have shut my cab door while you're doing that? Probably, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure I tell you to shut your cab door <laughs> every time. I'm every down. time we're here, just because oh, the dust in general. Geez. And perfect. The board that we uh, that was on your side did not shoot out. Obviously, that one shot out. But yeah. How's our tire? Um, this one's still on the beat. It's yeah, this good. I think it's pretty good, actually. Oh, Rex, go to one another 30 seconds. Oh yeah. You know it is. It is good to keep a little. Uh, oh, you got a bug. You got, Sorry. Uh, the worst it is zombie. good to keep a little uh, tread on the tires for when we go jumping. But uh, excellent. I'm glad we uh, could make a video today and get a uh, nice burnout. So let's uh, let's go get the dirt bikes going. Go for a rip. Sounds good. I thought it'd be hotter or cooler. Uh, yeah. The wind's picking up, so it's a little bit of a refresher. Way, I'm just gonna my ass off. <laughs> here we go. All right. That was a smoky one. She's smoky in here too. I'm not even going to bother to try and start this. Just going to let her cool down. Actually, screw it. Let's try and start it. <laughs> that might have been reverse. Give me some gas. I got to try and bump start it. <laughs> oh, man. Hilarious. All right. Put those windows up so we don't soak them nice leather seats. Oh man, it stinks in there. Like airbag and burnout. Ah! It is warm. I love it though. Rather this than rainy. Rain's nice too though. We always need rain. Except it makes everything grow super fast. Are you ready to ride dirt bikes or what? Yeah. Well, we've already been riding there, but Oh, okay. Here. You know what I did all morning? What? I had take to take care of your buddy Brad. He's all emotional. Oh, okay. He drained his bank account to buy a ATV. <laughs> his ATV is bigger and more expensive than his wife's car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I almost ripped my leg off. I thought that was rust. This is plastic. Hey, okay. keys, please. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Someone asked me why I don't leave all the keys in the cars down here. Yes. Would you leave all the keys in the cars down here? No. Nope. Why? I told I, I said they'd probably evaporate if uh, if we did probably... borrow them. Yes. And not bring them back. Someone did come down here and take one for a joyride once. I forgot a key in one. And uh, so what happened? Oh, we were in the back. We did a video. Went to the back. Got super stuck. Pulled it out. Meanwhile, I had a flight to catch within two hours, of course. Yeah. So pulled it out, put it back here, went on my trip, came back two weeks later, and I look out the window, and the car is stuck over there where we got oh, stuck. Shit. And I was like, sure, just I called my buddy. I'm like, hey, we pulled it out, didn't we? He's like, yeah. I'm like, it's, oh, it's back where it was. <laughs> and then there was like, they were trying to use floor mats, two by fours on the ground, everything. And then someone came down and wanted a rim. So they, they cut, they used a sawzall, they cut the tire, popped the rim out and leaf, left the tire in there. It made, it made absolutely zero sense. If you wanted a tire or a rim, just ask me, you can, you can have one. Or you can take this thing. She's just a floater now. All right, let's ride dirt bikes. Yeah. Or take your truck through the mud. No, 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 no. <laughs> this keeps getting hotter and hotter, I love it. Anyways, we got some packages from uh, Super ATV here. We got a new winch rope. Check them out, they always have sales on. Sales going on, there's a nice box for it. And then we got some new front A-arms. I'm selling it and mine are pretty beat up from, you know, just riding in general. There's no skid plates on them because these are actually lifetime warranty from Super ATV. So yeah, sent me some freshies. So there you go. All right, oh, even got ball joints, perfect. Let's, uh, let's go hit the dirt bike. Get some motos down. Last couple things before we mo whoa. moto. I can't even talk today. Uh, I don't know if I showed you guys this already. DeWalt sent us 
this nice brushless cordless electric chainsaw. So she's pretty sick. I have one already. Actually, we have two. I have one and my dad has one over there. So he loves it. I love it. Check them out. Next up, we have some shirts from Carhartt. As always, you know I wear Carhartt all day. Super comfortable. It's my work stuff. But I actually just wear these shirts on the daily anyway because they're so nice. And they have a pocket. You can put your, your cell phone or your beer up there. Uh, these are mirrors from Kamimoto. They make a lot of ATV accessories for Maverick, um, the Polaris's, basically all ATVs. So those are the mirrors that I have on right now. Um, and then last but not least, Oxbeam sent this. It came with my whips, but Brad, we're gonna put it on Brad's machine. So it's basically uh, just a little control switch. You can run eight different uh, controls. I believe it lights up. Yeah, and then here's all the stickers that come with it, so. And your lights, blinkers, seat heater if you got it, or a fridge, that'd be for Brad. Brad will probably have a fridge soon in his. So, any other cool ones, windshield. Yes, I'm very shaky, by the way. I'm just always shaky in general, shakier when I'm hungover, but, and yeah. All right, yeah, check them out. They uh, they make the best light bars. I've had an Oxbeam light bar on that thing since 2018, never had an issue with it. They make all different size light bars, basically anything you can think of with lights, headlights, uh, whips, and a few other things. So check them out. And uh, yeah, all right, now we go dirt biking. Oof, and now it's moto time, right, Cruz? Cruz is a big, uh, you race NASCAR, right? Cars? Volkswagen Beetles? Your sister's bicycle? What do you race then? Dirt bikes. Dirt bikes! Yeah, he's a big two-stroker now. So what do you got? You raced Walton on the weekend? Where else have you raced? What did we race Wednesdays? Mini... Thunder? Yeah, Mini Thunder on Wednesdays. Where's, and, where's that? Uh, Brigden. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, so, uh, that's like the Triple Crown series guys. So any dads looking to get their kids into racing right now, what do you recommend? Mini Thunders is good, small track. Hard pan, but it's a good track. I thought it's called Triple Crown. Yeah, that's the other race. And then <laughs> we do the AMO, which is awesome too as well. So Sweet. All good. So I haven't rode in, I think, two weeks now. So, And it rained for pretty much a week straight. That's why it has grown so quick. Like, I literally just cut this, and it's all back up. So I'm going to get the tiller down here. We're going to get the mower, and uh, we're going to get back to work. So we're gonna film a little bit today, but I'm not even hitting these jumps because they're so grown over. I don't need a haircut. Yeah, I don't want to slide out on the lip. So, but uh, Cruz and I are gonna throw the drone up, the old Scotty-O, and we're gonna show you guys a little tour of the grown over Jumanji track. So, <laughs> and I'm riding with a winter raincoat right now because <laughs> I like to sweat. I mean, you sweat good when you're riding, but if you wear a raincoat that has zero ventilation, let me tell you guys, that's the only way to detox. I don't need so some overpriced smoothie to detox. I just put a hoodie on in 35 degree weather and let her party. So, all right, quick break and then uh, let's see what you got. Yeah. That's gonna be hot in that black suit, eh? Nah. Nah, you're tougher than that. No, I'm quite weak. Quite weak. <laughs> Notice time. We're gonna set the drone up, throw it on cruise, and then we're gonna put it on me. So if you guys are new to the channel, this is the drone I use. It's the Scotty 2 and it's a follow drone. So you can control it manually if you want, but I usually just hook up the beacon, either put it in my pocket or I just put it on the handlebars. You can do it with Velcro. I just use elastic bands and yeah, follow you for years. Go show us how it's done. Mr. Electric Start. Living the dream. <laughs> Thank you.
talking about a full shift AZ the hair air conditioner oh Don how's the hair I think I'm due for a haircut this weekend forgot to end the video so yeah just uh I'm a little I'm a day late on the video I was traveling the last few days in Banff so Laura and I had a great time excellent place definitely highly highly recommend go to Banff bring a paddleboard because if you want to rent one it's like 150 bucks an hour so probably you would buy one but uh yeah other than that thank you guys for watching um we're gonna be doing some filming tomorrow on wednesday i think we're gonna try and blow up the jetta and we're gonna do a slow-mo compilation it's been a while since we've done a slow-mo compilation new footage not not old stuff so i think brad's gonna come over we'll do that and uh see what else we can do maybe jump uh, the saturn or something hopefully someone picks up these parts of the f-150 soon so we can jump that too but other than that thank you guys have a fantastic day We'll see you later. Bye.